Hey guys, remember to hit like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment so I know what you really think about me. Enjoy! Hey guys, Phoenix here, playing a game called Deep Night Detective, or as the window is titled, Made in Game Maker Studio 2. I'm going to take a guess and say this was made in RPG Maker. Don't ask me why. Uh, so this was free on Steam, I think. Pretty sure. And it has one of the, probably the fastest launch time of any game I've ever played. Like, I hit play on Steam, and it just opens. There's no load time. I'm what, like, what the heck? A new game. I don't really know anything about this game. But I do know that Feather, Mario, and Hillgrove and I still get letters, usually around the same time of year. Let's capture my mouse. Ignore that. And also, I, I also know that they stopped being intelligible or coherent at some point in the late August. 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 Uh, oh. In the late August. I, I... What? I have no idea what that means. Before they became a thick stew of expletives and promises... It sounds like a Trump speech. They were angry confessions, funny enough. February 97. Father Hillgrove walked into my office, sweating through his clerical collar, putting a cassette tape on my desk and not saying a word for five whole minutes. I shouldn't be doing this, he said sultrily. Wait, am I- is this porn? Am I- it... Are these guys about to have sex? It's, I, I can't have sex on my YouTube channel. The tape was a recording of Hank Boyd in a confessional. That's illegal. This is the last time, Father, the very last time. This really sounds like it's turning into a gay porn. Boyd continuing to shake him mutters. I'll stop. I'm done with that. I just gotta do this one less girl. Okay, maybe not necessarily all gay porn. I don't know. It, this feels like dialogue from a porn. A am I wrong? Am I crazy? Yes, I am. But this sounds like porn. Not a member of Hillgrove's congression, but Martin was understandably concerned for her nonetheless. He should have gone directly to the cops. I could only get to the right people and through the right channels so quickly. I wasn't able to keep Hillgrove a secret, and we didn't make it in time to save her. Nobody came out of that one happy. I refused the money. Hillgrove was excommunicated. What's happening? And Boyd regrets, apparently very loudly, ever having trusted anyone in his whole life. Oh god, they got bright. A rare quiet day, something about the summer he makes people suspicious, I guess. Because spooky private investigation. <laughs> I love that name. Spooky private investigations. Posing great business this time of year. Spooky! A cheating husband job game of totally dry, and the wife is suspicious enough to pay for another week's investigation. It would take a pretty big idiot to turn down an easy job, and an even bigger idiot to waste his time on it. So I sent Kellos to tell the guy. It's pretty far below his pay grade too, but oh well. I sent him not because I don't have the time, but exactly because I do. He needs something to do, and I need to enjoy a summer's day for once. Besides, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before the phone starts ringing again. That, or the other thing happens. The porn thing. I'm hoping it's the phone this time. What? Seriously, what's the other? What? The ever looming idea that such a rude interruption could be right around the corner makes me want to get as much sunlight as I possible. I hate this font. So many words look like there's a period at the end. Well, I think that ends in a T. I'm going for a walk. Oh, wow, I move so fast. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's with this Marilyn Monroe drop? Okay, uh... What is this? <laughs> Am I Raven from Teen Titans? How? Ah! Spooky ghost! What I what button was that? I... I... Ah! No. No. Ah. 
Okay. Oh god, I lagged it out. I pressed it too many times. Oh. I, I don't understand. Case notes. What? Oh my... Oh god. Oh, there's so much. Whatever. Hello. Oh, okay. B does it, apparently. Hey, Susie. How's tricks? Slow day for once. No calls. How are you today, Mr. Spoo... Mr. Spooky? You know what? I'm kind of relishing a quiet day. Is that so? Mustard pun inserts? Haha. <laughs> Yes, in fact it is. I think I'm going out for a walk. Would you like to bring me... Would you like me to bring you back some lunch? I'm a little strapped right now. I shouldn't be spending the money. It's my treat. Oh, pick me up a gyro and a small coke then. Will do. I'll be back in just a bit. Thanks, Mr. Spooky! Ghost! I don't understand... Dentist office. The walls are pretty good at keeping out the drill sounds. The screaming, not so much. Therapists? Or some guy with a PhD? I don't know. I can't read. Advanced service technical solutions. I think it's a call center. Bathroom. Really? The bathroom's at the front of the hat room? Okay. Oh my god, how many places? Some company that works with computers. Uh... Another therapist. Great guy. Helped me out a lot after I died. Should check in with him. That's a weird sentence. Uh-oh. No, not again, damn it. What the... is happening? Well, this is a pisser. I'm being summoned against my will. Let's at least hope it's a... a paying client this time. Good of them to take my trench coat with. Hello? Come from off screen. Ha ha. Oh, I can hang my jacket on it? That's actually really cool. I like it. Hi, Naps the Blue. What's up? Hey. Hey. Well, I assume you were just summoned as usual. If you're going back, I am. Hang up your coat, Astro Coat Rack. You can retrieve them on the other side. Well, thanks. Am I going the right way? Do I go this way? No, okay. Whoosh. Spooky. What's the point of that? It's quiet. This seems to be some kind of dusty shack, like an old backyard shed, but bigger and without gardening supplies. And far more dead bodies, or less, depending on what part of the United States you're in. Ah, uh, Mr. Spooky, is it? A raspy voice calls out from behind me. A butler appears. He must be the one who's summoned me. I take one last contemplative silent look around to make sure I'm not in any danger before I give the guy the time of day. The same. How can I help you? My name is Edward of Mannheim. I'm a servant of the Winterfield Manor of the, of the owners, June and July Abernathy. I'm afraid we're in need of private assistance. He says in a practiced, well-enunciated growl. His voice is jarred and gravelly. Wish I'd known that before I gave him a voice, but whatever, it's too late. Do you have a phone? I need to call my secretary. Ah, uh, but of course, the phone is in the main house. We can discuss the details of your potential employment inside. I like that. Potential employment. It means I'm allowed to decline and that they plan to pay me. Good. Two things I like. It also means he's not one of these kids who thinks that the high pri that the high price of my summoning in the old book refers to their soul or some shit. Like they can pay me the magic money that comes from inside you. I'm already here, might as well hear them out. Lead the way, Menheim. Right this way, sir. Push, 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 push. Right this way, okay. I'll, I'll go without you, I guess. Ah, how'd you beat me? Wait, wait one second, Edward, before we go inside. I stop him from walking any further. He tells me that Mannheim is fine in lieu of Edward. 
What's the general gist of what's going on here? I want it from you first, before I hear it from anyone else. Mannheim's face doesn't change. The butlers are never the express. What? Okay. We believe, Mrs. Buki, that the house may be haunted. So we did the most sane thing possible and summoned a ghost. Lots of houses are haunted in Mannheim. Most of them, in fact. Only house I know that's not haunted is mine. Which is arguably arguable as seen as I live there. The police have traced several disappearances to Winterfield Manor. Would very much appreciate if you would investigate the manor before the police made a mess of things. July Ambernathy believes the cause to be spectral in nature. That's his first guess, huh? That may well be the case. Oh. I feel like that'd be a pretty convenient explanation, right? Why is that what he jumps to? The Abernathy family has always had an interest in the supernatural. I believe you may have assisted the late Augustine Abernathy in 84. I may have. That was like a, over a decade ago. Mr. Abernathy is curious to see if you can deny or confirm his suspicions regarding the strange nature of the household. I respond, perhaps somewhat short in my approach. Quick question, what if he's wrong? What the snack ghost making people disappear? I cannot begin to speak on his behalf, blah blah blah. If he deigns to return to you, you may speak to him then. This seems Mannheim's last word on the situation before he leaves and turns back towards the house. Are there ghosts here? Yes. Obviously, I can feel them from out here. Also, I myself am a ghost. By definition, there are ghosts here. But are these the same ghosts that answer to the Amber Nathy's problem? Let's hope so, for their sake. Not the ghost's sake, because they're, they're, they're dead. Whee! I, I like jumping. Whee! That's a really long walk. Felt excessively long. Deep Night Detective, Book 1, Sympathy for the Devil. Sorry, this is a Christian channel, so fuck off with your devil worship. Hail Satan! Are you sure you can't tell me anything else regarding the case? I've given you all the relevant information I have, Mr. Spooky. How about some irrelevant information? Like, how big is your dick? Uh, with respect, Mr. Spooky, th that's none of your business. I should hope you not insist I infringe upon my employer's, employer's privacy. Fine. So what are you giving me is essentially the police told you people have disappeared here. That's not a lot to go on. You're also free to investigate the home with reasonable limitations. If you believe that's not enough to justify your time, I'll make do. Thanks anyway, Mannheim. I pray that you not take it too personally. No sweat, we're... Sympatico. What? I'll take a look around. Ah! Pardon me, I say to the woman blocking the entrance to the southwest wing. Hello there, detective. Valerie Bordeaux. I'm afraid now might not be the best moment. If you don't mind me saying, could you come back another time? Why is that? Is it being fumigated or something? Yes, it's being well. No, I mean it's not being fumigated, but you can't go in right now. June is unwell right now. The direct approach rarely works on a wilting violet like this one, unless you're willing to scare them off and upset the fragile ecosystem of a suspicious house. Brother Bideau, you said? May I ask you as to what your relationship to the owner is? I, I am a friend of June's, Abernathy. I have been close to her some time. My apologies, Valor, I didn't realize that the Abernathy's had com company this evening now tried to be discreet. No, it's... It's no problem at all, Detective, may I ask what game, Flava? I'll return later, then. That's the reaction I'm wondering about. She's ashamed of her relationship to June, but is open about her closeness with her. This means she's likely a live-in house guest. Fascinating. Thank you for your time again, Miss Bordeaux. That's a very... Broad guess that you made. Doggy, doggy. Hey, Pooch. Oh, how you doing, bud? 
10 out of 10, can pet dog. Spooky ghost. Aww. What a weirdly set up house that you need to be able to jump. What is it? Three times your body height in order to go up to the second floor. Or I'm, I've solved the case. People are dying because they're falling down these steps. That'll be five thousand dollars. Hey there, Manheim. How'd you get up here? You have mad hops. Okay. You, um. Another area I can't go in. This door doesn't go anywhere. Go bother the developer about it. I have a case to get back to. Okay, while funny, why bother putting the door there? Don't put doors you don't want the NPCs go the players going into. It's locked, like a lot of doors around here. Except, it smells like a graveyard, like a freshly mowed grass. Like asphalt and rubbing alcohol, which is weird because we're on the third floor. Like death somehow. Trust me, I know. I'm a ghost. What's the point of me taking off my clothes if I can't travel through the wall? Can I go this way? I approach a butler who seems to be guarding the wing of the manor. His eyes are narrowed and intense and find myself immediately put off. That's a big nose you got there. I'm Detective Spooky. I start off in a harsh, unyielding tone. I recognize his stare. Been around the block a few times. I'm not letting him make a single assumption about my work here. And no, I'm not into men. So don't ask. I've been hired by your employee, employer to investigate the manor. Salazar. He says, his eyes stare not shifting. I'm sorry he's impressed with my poise, but doesn't want to appear over eager. I, okay. Last name? Periera. Periera. I'm going to need you to step aside, Mr. Periera. I'm afraid, I'm afraid my players have not given me the word to allow you to passage, detective. Oh my god! <laughs> so you're taking a chance that the murder weapon's not behind you then, not really worth blah blah blah. I'm going to stop wasting my energy on this guy. I see you take pride in your work. I imagine they pay you in spades to make my investigation harder. I'll take similar pride in my work, Salazar, so I'll keep the details myself and be on my way. Oh my god. So, so far, every room's been locked. Or doesn't go anywhere. I can't go to different rooms. Go different directions. This isn't even a door, apparently. All I can do is pet the dog. 10 out of 10. Ah, I could go this way. Oh my god, your nose is huge! I say now, I say here, young man, this here must be one of the, uh, how you would say, one of the proprietors of this here fine establishment, I do say. Ha, huh, your nose is smaller, but your hat is bigger. Okay, look, I know out of it is that no smile for a while, while pain, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Also, to be fair, a hand-drawn painting there, which is straw smile. Do politicians ever try to not look like politicians? No. Or do they just start look like that when you sign up? Yeah, they're born that way. <gasps> Spooky ghost! Eh, eh. Thanks for the combat tutorial. Aha! Ow, my head! Ah! Ah! Ow! What is with the hit detection on that? Also, I feel like this game will have been better without this mechanic. Ow! Stop it! 
Like, I feel like this Wolven Bar is just a mystery platformer. Combat seems excessive. Uh, anything happening in here? What? What am I fighting? What? I, I, okay. I think I just killed an endangered species. Ah! You know, I think I found out what's killing everything. Could it be these possessed peacocks I'm murdering? Could it be these ghosts? Could it be this... These evil plants that can move? Ow. I w what's happening? Does that save the game or something? I don't fully know. Hello, who are you? Oh, hey there, Mannheim. I could hardly see you in here. Detective? What the hell is this place? I grumble in no particular direction, trying to squint through the darkness. This room seems by all appearances to be the source of the trouble. You're kidding. There's nothing in here. No ghosts, no spectral matter, no... Or erratic residue, not even a common geo spiritual murmur, nothing. Allow me to get the lights. I can hear Mannheim's footsteps approaching the back wall. Darkness. Imprisoning me, all that I see. Oh my! The powers that be see. Uh, Detective Spooky, can you move out of the way real quick? I can't read. The powers that be seek a vessel for the darkest ambitions of mankind. Mannheim, when the hell is this? Mannheim clears his throat like a woodchopper digesting a stone. What? Uh, hang on. <laughs> Something like that? We found this shortly after the police visited. It raised supernatural suspicion. I mean, I guess. I beg your pardon, sir. The one semitone rays in his rays in Mannheim's otherwise totally monotone voice tells me I caught him off guard. It's just that where do I even start? I guess I'm just gonna to have to trust that he can handle me being a little frank. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Someone's playing a prank on you. Mannheim asked me to explain. Give him your common sense analysis. So this is uh, some kind of dynamic resonance, I'm assuming. Is that what you're thinking? Mannheim shrugged, or rather, he looked at me and communicated a shrug through his silence. Ghosts don't require blood. Demons do. Demon is the implication, so then why in God's name would a demon not clean up after itself? Mannheim interrupts for a moment. I've never personally known a demon to be a thorough cleaner, Mr. Spooky. Was that a joke? Wasn't expecting that. Heh. <laughs> what would a demon get out of scaring someone, or anyone? It's a million miles away from a demon's best interest to be scary. Or at least scary in this... Well, extremely specific way. Unless it's one of those demons that feeds off fear, but those don't exist in this universe, apparently. And why is that? So questions Mannheim, talking as if he's beginning to suspect I'm spewing nonsense. You know what the quickest way to get a person to start praying is, Mannheim? Put a gun to their head. Your response is short, ah. Well, Mannheim, there are no reason for this thing to, in your mind... Why is this all here? I mentioned the best person to go to for that kind of information. Okay, be that way then. First instincts, Mannheim, are that this is a summoning, except there's no ritual here, it's just a bunch of stuff? A summoning ritual is there to draw power or creatures towards a point in our dimension, but this is just like a star and a picture of a person. I mean, you summoned me, Mannheim. Remember what you had to do? Draw a very weird symbol. And put it in a really specific point above my summoning place, and then put a candle lit specifically within lithium chloride behind it. 
Manhai drops his head thing for a moment. Yeah, that's about right. Well, this is a star. Not even a pentagram. The silhouette above it. Now I mean there's a small chance of summoning something every time someone drew a guy above a star. That would be a lot of bored kids accidentally summoning demons with their notebooks. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to keep exploring. Thanks, Mannheim. You weren't helpful. If, uh... If you had to speculate as to... After seeing this, I can say with 100% certainty that it's not a ghost. That's your problem. It's either a demon or a prankster. A ghost and demon's not the same thing, Detective Spooky. I was laboring under the assumption that they were. I'm very insulted. As a ghost, I'm very insulted at that. The big difference is that a demon wants something from you, man. I'm, whether it's your blood, your word, or your soul, they're selfish creatures. Me, I just want to get paid. I have to sigh that looking as... The look of this place would be funny if it weren't so stupid and senseless. I'm already tired, I'm already tired by this criminal. I'm already sick of him or her. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Detective Spooky. Victor's fine, or just detective, either way. Manheim nods and allows me to leave. Oh god, that's awesome. Whoosh. Like what you see? Whoosh. Okay. Whoa! Just gotta chill. There's something in the next room. Something dangerous. Okay. I don't know how to save yet. Does this save the game? I also don't know what taking my clothes off does. Ah! Desecrated pet peacock! What is this? What is happening? I don't even know what is actually damaging me half the time. I, I felt like I was just taking damage randomly. I was not expecting a Metrovania type game when I picked this up. I died again, and my clothes didn't come with me. I better go get my clothes back before I speak to anyone else. People don't tend to cooperate well with disembodied voices. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, wh where are my clothes then? So yeah, apparently there's save points throughout this game that I just wasn't, I just passed by all of them on accident. So I'm assuming I need to go to the boss room to get my clothes back. You know, as you do. You have to right here. Okay. So, okay. It was me being dumb. I didn't explore, I managed to miss every single saves room on my way to the boss. Which is impressive. But they could have marked them clearer. What? Ow. Like, is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Just, like, his health is going down. I guess I was taking damage because I was making contact with his body. But I can't... Ow! I can't duck and the a... controls are a bit slippery.
I would love if these feathers would drop healing every now and then. That would be nice. Hmm. And now that I understand the mechanics, it's a lot easier. I do wish I can do, you know, actually hit him a bit more. Like if I can you know, do some nice body shots, that'd be nice. Or if I at least didn't take damage when I made contact with his body. Now, I wonder if the owners will be mad that I killed their giant peacock. Hope it doesn't come out of my salary. Ah! Change form. His head got smaller. Ah, he jumped too late. Damn! Oh, I thought I had one more hit. Oh. <sighs> Why do the attacks do so little damage? God, this is actually a little annoying. Especially this is the first boss I'm fighting. Like, I don't... I press every button, this is the only thing I got. Okay, let's try again. Come on, come on, come on. Ow, what the hell? Last time they attacked in the opposite order. I'm not going to win this one. I'm. No, I... nope. I got flustered. Okay, let's try this again. Got it. One health left by. Got it. Man, I hate hearing scream. Poor thing. I'll be a, it'll be a piece soon. There's something to be said regarding the cojones of the bastard spraying this demonic crap. Doesn't make me like him any better. With the peacock's death, I feel some of its demonic energy pouring into me. It's not only totally unpleasant feeling, though it doesn't make me feel completely wholesome either. Demons have this thing where they love to kill each other for power. So the way it works is that the power finds its way to whoever murdered its last inhabitants. This is some avian agility thing, I bet. I can jump, double jump now. That's definitely what this feels like. If I press the jump button, I can jump. Interesting. I should keep looking around. This bird thing was a side effect, not really to my case. Probably. Locked door. I swear I didn't see that behind the peacock before. Damn, the door thing again. We'll have to go find a way through that. Maybe the double jump will help. Damn, that's a... F eh, about half double jump. Whee! Okay, uh, let me get past this plant. It's been kicking my ass a lot. Save, okay. I'm actually going to stop the video there. 
Uh, it's this game's actually pretty fun. I'll probably play a few more. But uh, for now, thank you guys so much for stopping by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing. Let me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye.